Hi, how you doing? My name is Dominic Butler. I'm the lead game designer for Ghost Recon Wildlands. What are you showing new here at E3 with Ghost Recon Wildlands? Well, last year when we came, we were the big surprise of the show. We were really happy to bring people the dream of what Ghost Recon Wildlands could be. And this year, we're happy to put that directly into players' hands. So for the first time, everybody, not just behind closed doors, everybody can put their hands on it and try the co-op demo for themselves. What are some of the challenges when taking a Tom Clancy game, especially the Ghost Recon series, and opening it up to be this huge open world experience? Well, it's, the challenges come from every part. To be honest, it was something we knew we wanted right from the beginning. This is an existing Ghost Recon team, so we know the brand as well as anybody can. And every time we make a new game, we want to bring something new, right? And so for a long time, we've wanted to bring that open world. We just, technologically, we needed the powerful machines that could do that. Uh, and now with leveraging the power of those current generation consoles, of the new PCs, we're able to bring that openness, that freedom of choice, to do whatever you want, whenever you want, put that power back in the player's hands. And knowing that from the start means we've just embraced it. Every design decision has been informed by that. So can you talk about the kind of weapons you're using Ghost Recon as well as how you equip those? Are there classes? Do you take loadouts? Right, so we don't specify classes per se. We allow the players to build their own loadout to suit their playstyle. Every player is going to have two weapons with them and a secondary weapon. Those weapons can be of any of the types that we have, and all of our weapons are checked for authenticity. They're all made in partnership with the leading manufacturers. They all come with their regular aftermarket parts, with the real-world camouflage and customization options. On top of that, all the gear that the ghosts wear is based on real gear that the real special forces will use. And uh, yeah, it's all about that freedom of choice to build to support your playstyle. Can you talk about how the online and co-op will work in the game? So the game is playable right from the start to the very end in solo or in up to four player co-op. What that means, if you're playing in solo, the ghosts, they're a team, they're a team of four. So if you're playing by yourself, if you want to play offline, if for whatever reason you just don't want to play with others, it's not a problem. You get to experience the entire game. Nothing is kept from you. You're going to be supported by three AI teammates. And then as friends become available or you want to join their game, you're going to swap in for those AI. And that's a really important thing because it means that as you want to play with other people or that friends become available or real life gets in the way, we understand we're gamers too, that sometimes we're going to play together. The three of us could play every Friday night, Friday night, and then at some point somebody can't make it. It doesn't mean the others can't keep playing. Of course they can keep playing. They keep progressing that story. For the others that weren't there, they can catch up later, they can join in at another point, but then nobody's losing out. You never give up anything for playing co-op. There's one Ghost Recon Wildlands, you're always playing that game, whether you're playing with friends or by yourself. You talk about the vehicles you have in the game. How do you get the helicopter, for example? So the helicopter is something, in fact, all of our vehicles, you're going to have to find them in the world. These ghosts are spec ops. These guys drop deep behind enemy lines. They don't have very much support. They have some indication of where to go, where they can start to look uh, for opportunities in the world. That includes vehicles. That includes different types of ordnance. And so the players are going to have to explore the world, they're going to have to discover that world. Yes, where you find military bases, often you'll find helicopters, but also the Santa Blanca cartel, they're very well funded. So in small outposts, you're going to see smaller, more armored vehicles. In the bigger sense, they're going to have their own helicopters too. So when does Ghost Recon Wildlands come out and what platforms will be on? So the game comes out on March 7th, 2017, and it comes out on PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and PC.